Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be detailing the IS300. I haven't detailed this car ever since I bought it two years ago. So today we're gonna to be putting some iron remover onto the paint to remove all the contaminants. And we're gonna clean that off. After we clean off the contaminants and the iron on the paint, we're gonna clay bar it using this clay mitt. And then I'm gonna compound it and polish it after I'm done with that. So the Adams polishes iron remover is very similar to the Iron X stuff that's more expensive used by professionals. This is also used by professionals. I read some reviews and this does the same exact thing. It's just a little bit cheaper than the Iron X, so I figured I'd try it out. So the clay mitt, I've been using this for a couple years now. Uh, I bought it two years ago when I was doing the van and the IS. So I like using this clay mitt much better than traditional clay just because it's easier to use quicker because you have a larger surface area. Last time I used it on the van, it was much more enjoyable doing that versus traditional clay bar. If you guys want to use the same stuff or any of these products, there's links down in the description to Amazon if you want to buy this stuff too. So I haven't detailed this car ever since I bought it two years ago. You can see the paint is just gone on here. I should have protected it when I got it two years ago. That way it would have been less work, but I was just putting it off because I had all these other projects to do. So to use this stuff, you want to make sure your paint is clean. I washed this thing off already yesterday, so everything's clean. You want to use it in the shade or when it's outside of direct sunlight. And all you do is just spray it onto the paint, let it sit for like three to five minutes. You'll see it starting to work. When you see it working, it turns actually pink and purple and reddish as the chemicals react to the contaminants and the metals and iron on the paint. So we just go ahead and just spray one or two panels at a time because you want to clean one or two panels at a time. So we'll let it sit for three to five minutes and we'll come back and check what it looks like. It's very hard to tell on this color, but you can see there's some discoloration kind of a purplish tint and a reddish copper tint that it's changing to. So that's a good sign because that shows that the chemical reactions are working. This stuff is pH balanced, so you don't have to worry about it messing up your paint or anything. And it's gonna dissolve chemically all the contaminants on your paint, including any kind of bugs and stuff. You can see it's all soaking in and working right now. So what you wanna do after this is you wanna use like a sponge. I'm using this chemical guys sponge thing right here. I'm gonna wipe it down and I'm just gonna kinda of spread this stuff all over the paint and let it work its magic even deeper. And then after that, I'm gonna clean it off. I'm gonna use a spray detail to clean it off just to see how it turns out. And then we'll go start the clay bar after that. All right, so we're gonna go start claying it now. So I'm, I'm gonna get the pad out. I'm gonna get my spray detailer. I didn't wipe the car down from the water cause that water is just gonna act as a lubricant anyways. I'll use less spray detailer. We'll go ahead and just scrub that across the surface to get all the crap off of there. So we got everything clay barred. The paint is nice and smooth now. It's gonna remove all the contaminants, but if you have imperfections in your paint, like all these spots here from the clear coat, it's not gonna work wonders, but it will clean off all the contaminants. Your paint will feel nice and smooth. I've got a glove on here and it just flows right across. I don't feel any granular or anything in the clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff the paint now. Hopefully it gets a little bit shiny. I do have a lot of imperfections in the clear coat, like right there. It's got a little bit of a cancer that's growing right there. 
And then up here on the quarter panels, it's a little bit more of a cancer growing. And this is my neglect from not coating this car and cleaning it two years ago when I got it. It wasn't as bad back then. These things were already there, but just the cancer that's growing wasn't there. As you can see, the compound is working pretty well. I'm getting a lot of the imperfections out. This is only step one of three. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the rest of the steps off camera. You guys probably seen enough of me buffing. It's all the same stuff. You gotta do it three times. This is just step one. So I got step two and step three, which is two different pads. I'll go ahead and change the pads out in between the steps. And then I'll show you guys the progress as I go. I might have to move this indoor soon. It's getting pretty dark out here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to finish all this off camera. So I spent about four hours buffing this car to the second stage. I decided the paint is too far gone to go to the third stage and it wasn't worth the extra effort. I got it basically compounded and then the first layer of polish. So right now it's nice and smooth. There's no contaminants in the paint. It's ready for a ceramic coat or a wax. So I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat it next. But overall, pretty happy with the results. I should have did this a long time ago to get all the contaminants out of this paint. You can see the roof right there, all the imperfections in the clear, the cancer that's growing here. As far as the hood goes, the cleaner I got it, the uglier it looked because it showed all the imperfections now that I cleaned up the rest of the good paint. All the bad areas are more obvious. All right, now that we got everything cleaned up and buffed on the car, we wanna go ahead and ceramic coat it with some Armor Shield 9. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I've been using this stuff for about two years now, and I love it just because of the protection it provides to all the paint. It makes it much easier when I wash the car, the water just beads right off and the dirt just beads right off, and it lasts much longer than wax. If you guys are interested in the same product, check out the links down in the description plus the coupon code for $25 off your first order. Go ahead and use that code anytime you need this stuff. When you guys are ready to do your own ceramic coating, just check that out. But we're gonna go ahead and apply this to all the panels. So application of this is very simple. It comes with gloves that you wanna use. You wanna use the microfiber pads that they provide you. They provide three of those. They give you this little block that you basically just wrap the microfiber in. There's a block with the foam on it. Apply three or four dabs of that stuff on there and then you apply it in little four by four sections on the car. You wanna do this one panel at a time. You let it dry for about five minutes and then you wipe it off with a microfiber. You could recoat it twice. Recoating it twice all really does is guarantee that you cover everything and you didn't miss any spots. It doesn't necessarily give it a thicker coat or anything. So once it's on there, it'll protect your paint for at least two years. If you garage keep the car and take care of the paint, it might last longer. You always wanna just see how well the water beads and then reapply as necessary. So before I coat, I wanna clean off any residue like this fling right here, the white little fling from the compound and other stuff I'm doing around here and just kind of clean up everything. So I'm gonna use some Duplicolor paint prep. This is the wax and grease remover from Duplicolor. So I've got it in the spray bottle. And then after that, I'm gonna use some just regular alcohol and spray it down just to make sure the surface is nice and clean before I coat it.
ice in my veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Hey guys, thanks for tuning in all the way to the end of this video on paint correcting the paint on my IS300. As you can see, it's very labor intensive to get the paint looking good, even though I've got all these little cancer spots and eventually all this stuff's probably gonna peel on me, but at least most of the car is nice and shiny. The previous owners never really took care of this paint, but at least I restored it as much as I could. So tune in on my next video, we're gonna go ahead and take care of all this trim right here. We're gonna take apart this trim right here and redo it in some trim black from SEM. I'm gonna go ahead and repowder coat the wipers. I'm gonna change the crow here. I'm gonna do some other stuff to do all the trim out here. Redo the mirror paint right here that's all chipping. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to your channel, go ahead and subscribe to your channel to stay on top of all my different DIY videos on this car, on the IS250, the Sienna, or whatever I'm doing around the garage. Remember guys, for all these different projects, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Oh.